Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. For today's video, I am very excited because it is all about market prep. Now, my first market prep video that I did back in April is one of my most watched videos on my channel, so I'm super excited to be doing another market prep video for you guys. It has been highly requested, and I am excited to announce that I have an upcoming market on April 15th. I'm actually doing it with my friend Pat, who I taught how to crochet recently, and he picked it up really quick, so we're gonna split the market entry fee and do the market together. So this video is kind of like a part one, just because I'm not going to be actually crocheting any plushies in this video to prep for my market. I'm just going to be talking about the patterns that I plan on using, the plushies, how many plushies I plan on making, and kind of the ballpark prices. This way I have more of a solid game plan of like how many plushies I need to make, what I'm making, and it'll be a little bit more organized. Last market, I only had two weeks to prep, so right now we're almost like a month out. So we definitely have a good amount of time to prep. So this time around, I am definitely just going to try and be more organized. So I think I mentioned a few videos back that I went ahead and bought a bunch of new patterns for this upcoming market just because I kind of wanted to switch up the items that I sell in this market versus what I sold last market. But I think I definitely am gonna keep some items the same, especially the items that sold the best. So let's start with the plushies that I am gonna make again for this market that did really well last market. Right off the bat, I'm definitely gonna be making my turtles. I think I'll do a combination of my mini turtle and my regular size turtle. My jumbo turtle really didn't sell that well, so I don't think I'm gonna be making any jumbo. I think as a rule of thumb for this market in general, I'm going to keep things pretty small. I don't think I'm going to offer a lot of full-size products just because based on the audience that I had last time and what sold the best, definitely the smaller items sold the best and had the most attention with my personal audience. So I think going into this market, I'm going to carry that same theme. I'm going to keep it small. We're going to keep it miniature and save my bigger jumbo plushies for online sales only. But okay, sorry, that was like a little tangent, but the mini turtle and my regular size turtle, they're actually my pattern, and I will link everything down below that I talk about in this video. So those are two plushies that I will definitely be making. I think I'll do three mini turtles at $15, and then three regular size turtles at $35. Next, I am definitely going to be making some more opossums. I told you guys in my other market video, but I only made one opossum and I just made it on a whim. And literally people were getting angry that there weren't more in stock. And I actually have come out with my own mini no-so opossum pattern. Let me grab him. I actually have him ready made. Here he is. He's so cute. He's just so little and adorable. So this little guy is no-so and he whips up really quick. So I think I'll make four regular sized opossums and I'll sell them for $20. And then I'll be making four mini opossums, and I think I'll sell him for $10. Next, I definitely will be continuing my leggy froggies. They were super, super popular as well, and they're actually really easy for me to make and crank out, so definitely will be making them again. I don't think I'll be doing the rainbow theme in this upcoming market, just because certain colors of the rainbow didn't really sell that well. For instance, I noticed like orange and yellow and green didn't really sell that well, so I probably will be excluding those colors going forward and just be making the other colors like red, blue, purple. Those ones seem to be drawing the most attention. So I think I'll be making around six leggy froggies and I'll be selling them for $10 a piece again. I'll also be bringing back my mini triceratops. They sold so well. But again, I don't think I'm gonna make orange or yellow. So I'll be making around six mini triceratops and I'll be selling them for $8 a piece. Next, I will be bringing back my emotional support pickles. All of my emotional support pickles sold out. So that was really cool to see that people really liked them. So definitely wanna tend to all age groups of my audience. So this time around, I think I'll do three jumbo emotional support pickles and I'll sell them for 35 a piece 
and then I'll do five mini emotional support pickles and I'll be selling them at 20 a piece. And then lastly, I will be making my mini octopi. They always sell so well in person, so definitely gonna be selling them again. I think I'll do the same thing. I'll make the rainbow minus orange and yellow. So I'll make around six of the mini octopi and I'll be selling them at $8 a piece. Just wanted to take a quick break from our video to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform that allows you to create beautiful websites, engage your audience, and sell products all in one platform. Squarespace has definitely been an amazing resource to have in my back pocket just because they offer everything that I would need for my website. I have no coding background, so creating a website definitely seemed very daunting to me, but Squarespace made it easy because with their website builder, they have thousands of professional templates that you can choose from, and you can freely drag and drop elements off of the website page as you wish so you can really customize it to your liking also they have the option of having an online store this is extremely important to me because the majority of my business is selling both physical plushies and digital patterns and the coolest feature that I think Squarespace has is that you can get a square reader and take physical sales in person head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash crochet by Jenna to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, I think that wraps up all of the plushies that I will be repeating, but now let's talk about all of the new plushies that I will be offering at this new market. First off, we have these adorable little mushy pops, and they're actually going to be keychains. So this is something new entirely at this next market. I didn't sell any keychains at my previous one. So I think adding keychains will be very beneficial because it still fits in the theme of miniatures and it will still be a pretty low price point. But I think keychains are just so much fun and who doesn't love a keychain? So we have the mushy pops. I'll link the pattern down below, but you can literally like push them out like this. So it's super fun for kids. And honestly, it's just a good little like fidget toy. So these are super quick to work up. I think I timed myself and it took like 10 minutes. And I showed you guys these in a previous video. I think I will be making the full rainbow for these just because I feel like mushrooms, people do kind of like yellow and orange for them. So I'll be making the full rainbow. So maybe I'll be making around eight of these and I'll be selling them for $8 a piece. Next, we have my No So Penguin. If you guys watched the previous market video, I made a similar penguin using a different pattern, but I was too lazy to make the flippers and the feet, and that definitely was not a good choice on my end because I only ended up selling like one of those penguins and I made like five, I think. So this time around, I am using a different pattern. This pattern is actually my own. I created this pattern specifically because I wanted a no sew penguin pattern and this little guy, his flippers and his feet are all stitches. They're not like individual pieces, so he is no sew. So I'll be making a bunch of these penguins. I think I'll be making like five of them and I will sell them at $10 a piece. Next we have this little mallard. I talked about him in a previous video. This little guy is made out of Bernat Velvet yarn. I'm going to remake him out of Parfait Chunky just because I think I'll like the look of that a little better. But this little guy, I recently purchased the pattern for him and he came in a set. So you can make the mallard, a chicken, and a rooster. And I'll link the pattern down below, but these birds are also no sew. So his little flippers are just chain stitches. And I highly recommend no sew patterns for market prep just because when you're making things in bulk and you're trying to make a lot of things in a small amount of time, it's just so much better not having to sew stuff. Like it just saves you so much time. It is so much less painful. So 100% whenever I see a no sew pattern, I, I gravitate towards it. But I am going to make maybe two mallards, two chickens, and two roosters and I will be selling them at $10 a piece. It's so cute. And let me just pull up the pattern really quick for you guys so you can see a visual. Or maybe I'll just pull it up on screen here. Yeah, insert, insert the pattern here. 
So to continue on with the keychain theme, I am going to be making these super adorable mini jellyfish keychains. Look at this little guy. I also showed you guys him in a previous video and I am still just as obsessed with him. This is my own pattern and of course I designed it because I didn't want to sew any of the tentacles or anything and I just love how he turned out. He's actually made out of acrylic yarn and I think the other jellyfish that I'm going to make will be out of acrylic yarn just because I like the look of it um, in keychain form. I think sticking with a thinner acrylic really makes the keychain look good and durable. So I will be making probably around six of these little jellyfish keychains and I will be selling them at $10 a piece. Okay, now I am resorting to my iPad because we are going to go into the patterns that I bought but have not made yet. I am also going to be making these really cute flower keychains and this is by Lavender Loop Crochet and Again, this pattern is no so, so I was like, yes, add to cart. Um, but I think this will be the last keychain that I make, and I'll probably make like five or six of them and sell them at $8 a piece. But I think people will really like the simplicity of a little flower keychain, but we'll see how they do. So next, I am going to be making this no so axolotl. Isn't it so cute? I've been watching a lot of um, market prep content on Instagram, like through Instagram Reels, and a lot of people have said that axolotls are their best sellers, especially like kind of these like no sew mini axolotls. So I want to hop on the axolotl bandwagon and see if my audience likes axolotls as much as everybody else. So I'll probably be making around six mini axolotls and I'll be selling them at $8 a piece. And this is what the finished one looks like, just so you guys can picture it. Very, very cute. And it's no so, so chef's kiss. Okay, and the last new plushie that I plan on making is Broncho the Dinosaur. And this is by Not Too Shabby. And I'm excited because this is again a no sew pattern and it's also another type of dinosaur. I feel like dinosaurs do so well at markets and in the crochet community because who doesn't love dinosaurs? So I'm happy to introduce this long neck dinosaur and I think I'll be making around four of them. I don't want to make too many just because I'm not sure how they'll do. So yeah, I think I'll make four and I don't want them to be too big. I kind of want to keep the price point under 20. So I think maybe I'll size down and kind of make it like a miniature and I'll sell it probably for 15 a piece. But okay, I think that wraps up all of the plushies and patterns that I want to use going into prepping for this next market. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful and inspiring if you are also trying to market prep. Definitely look out for a part two because that is where I'll actually do a crochet with me and I'll be making all of these plushies with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Happy crocheting and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!